guys I'm finally going on my solo trip to Kyoto ドブロソム京都をしていますかドブロソム京都? Arrived at my hotel, it's called the Blossom Kyoto actually a cafe that was recommended to me nearby so I'm walking towards it it's called Weekenders Coffee oh my gosh this is the police station guys what the heck so cute but it's right over here in the corner to have like iced americano or iced latte this is like a legit roastery so most of their drinks are served hot except for the cold brew so i got the cold brew and it wasn't bad considering that i really don't usually like cold brew barista really recommended it and she was like it's really good so i gave it a try and it wasn't bad <laughs> on top of this? No!
little cozy space. Lots of sunlight coming in. I like that. Mm, the view is just apartments. <laughs> All right, tea. It's 513. I'm going to go back out now. My dinner reservations at 8 p.m. because that's the only time they had available today. Why? Because it's a Saturday. But I'm going to head out to the Kion area and um, just walk around again. I feel a little bit recharged. Let's go! That restaurant is so pretty. And also, I don't know what these flowers are. It smells so good. Oh! The fragrance is so strong. Keep forgetting to walk on the left side. I keep going to the right. I'm like, oh, sorry. Almost bumped into you. has set and the vibes are different now that it's darker it's nice in the daytime too but i think with all the lighting like the ambiance is a little better at night before the sunset it was empty and now it's starting to get crowded this is the restaurant i'm going to it's called kion yata good but I'm so tired now I got there at 7 40 and it is now 9 56 almost 10 so I ate for more than two hours the nine course meal was delicious and the service on top of that was exceptional so although it was pricey I think it was worth it and I'm glad I treated myself to that nice meal just how it is. 
Well, I also only got four hours of sleep last night and I did a lot of walking around in the scorching hot sun today. It is 11 p.m. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Probably wake up and go to the bathhouse. And then after that, I'm still debating what I should do. I should go to one of the shrines or temples because Kyoto is known for them. But I also don't want to go to like a crowded area. So I don't know what to do. So I learned that the difference between kaiseki and omakaze is that kaiseki is what we kind of know as omakaze where it's a fixed course meal. And apparently omakaze is supposed to be when you just kind of leave it up to the chef. He changes and he improvises along the way according to your taste and your reaction to the food that came out yeah i really enjoyed my meal and i really had fun talking to the servers and the chef because i didn't talk to anyone the whole day and my mouth was kind of itching e Oof. sleepy Ooh, i'm gonna sleep so well tonight e my socks. <laughs> Going to the bathhouse. Oh no. I just missed it. It's nine o'clock right now. Hey, that was a fail. Back to my room. Hey, I just realized my room number is 7-Eleven. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee and start a slow morning. Oh, that's yummy. Show me the thumbnail. Hello in Kyoto. Got time, I make good meals. Go ride, I take two wheels. Come bring you that good feel. I don't have trouble keeping days full. I don't want to sell five, get two. Okay, I'm ready. Wearing my Marine Sarah shirt that I got at the pop up event. And this is from Oatly Workshop, which they gave out as a part of their invitation to their pop up. And then this skirt I bought recently is from type web service it's a korean brand this bag again which i got on yes style a lot of you guys asked me where i got this bag and i actually got it on yes style so i'll link it in the descriptions ready for day two Let's bake ourselves a treat What you've been mixing, serve it up the way you please I love the way you shake, you stir, you hear, you squeeze So thick Push up and butter me I'm gonna attempt to take the bus to Kiyomizu Dera. Whoa, that's 
a lot of people. So like during COVID and even post COVID, I've been watching a lot of travel YouTubers, um, especially those who travel alone. And I think that kind of inspired me to take this trip by myself too. But then like, since I'm alone, I can't vlog, like I'm shy. I should talk more, but it's hard. I see the Kyo Mizudera guys. Right there. So this is the entrance, but guys, I don't know if I could do it. My entire back is sweating. Oh my god, so many people. Okay, I don't think I want to go up there. Smells good. Wait, if this ends up tasting like pickles, I'm gonna be so sad. It's really, really salty. I'm sorry, but I didn't want to throw this away. I let curiosity get the best of me. Looks legit. walked around so much that my calves are so bloated a nice bath will make me feel better after okay gotta go i'll go i'm gonna sit i'm gonna be so happy after i'm done bathing so i'm gonna go gonna go okay guys seriously be right back That was fantastic. Oh my gosh. Feels so good. It was exquisite. As soon as I went in, I was like, ah. And I sat in there for probably like 15, 20 minutes and then I came out, took a shower. the flavor mm. it's kind of like rice snack like a little savory rice snack how many steps did I take 17,000 I thought I did more 
So tomorrow I'm actually going to meet up with one of my longtime fans. She's been a lovely since like almost the beginning. I've seen her for so long and she's also the same age as me so I kind of feel like we're friends. But um, recently she stopped by my radio to tell me that she's going to get married in October. I was like really happy for her. And then I told her I was going to come to Kyoto alone. And then a few days ago she DM'd me saying that she's actually in Japan right now in Osaka. I was planning on checking out Osaka for a little bit before I head to the airport since it's on the way anyways. So I'm going to meet up with her. I'm really looking forward to it because honestly... I miss socializing. I think two days alone is good for good enough for me because I'm like itching to socialize and talk. I'm enjoying it, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, doing something I've never done, being in a whole new city. But I really kind of wish I had someone to share it with. I feel like the food would be a hundred times better if I had someone to eat it with and, you know, be like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And whatever I see, you know, be like, so pretty together alone it's like yeah i enjoy it but kind of doesn't feel as good as it would if i had someone with me so it's like the whole day like walking around you know i'm like looking around who can i talk to like is there someone i could talk to and when someone starts talking to me my face literally lights up like hello there yes hi and <laughs> I was like, okay, dang, I seriously need social interaction. And one thing that sucks about traveling alone is you want to try as much food as possible, right? And you can do that when you have another person with you because you guys can share something and you guys, you know, you won't get as full and you could try a bunch of different stuff. But when you're alone, you have to eat and finish the whole thing by yourself and although you want to try soba noodles and the tonkatsu and I don't know sushi you just have to settle for one and that's like the saddest part because when I'm curious about something like I need to try it but I know I'm gonna look back and I'm gonna miss this quality alone time that I had everything is just so zen and aesthetically pleasing the architecture it's so fun just looking at the buildings um, the food, everything was really good. Oh, everything except like the pickles. Oh, hell no. Never again. But, yeah. This reminds me of Lise. So many things walking around. So many things that I saw reminded me of her because she would always bring back Japanese goods whenever she would go home to Tokyo. Good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. She's really good at Korean <laughs> and Japanese. She's Japanese. Where are you now? Omurice. We're waiting in line. There's a lot of friends in the studio. It's so happy. It's really sad. I want to talk to you. I'm <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
그래서 너무 예뻐 오늘 예뻐 <웃음> 아 근데 나 그때 세일러문 세일러문 셔츠 입고 그 타이세키 레스토랑 갔을 때 거기 주인이 그 아저씨였는데 나 보면서 스키니가 한대 어시오키요 이렇게 해줬어 스키니가 한대 어시오키요 그래서 나 너무 반가워서 스키니가 한대 어시오키요 Let's go. 빨리. Yes. 진짜 어디인데? 어. 